In fighting against Bison, it's easy to feel as though you can't do anything to stop him, even when he applies unsafe pressure. Let's figure out where his pressure is weak and how we can exploit that. First up, dealing with Bison's dash. Yes, his forward dash is semi-invincible, but only in the middle. The start and end of his dash are extremely vulnerable. You can light attack or throw on reaction to his dash and hit him. Be aware that if you opt for the throw, there is a small window for Bison to tech the throw. The better option is a light attack, which should be followed by a punish combo. Inferno is the next easiest one to deal with. Medium Inferno is typically cancelled into from Crouch Medium Punch. There are a few ways to get there, but the point is that Medium Inferno is minus 11 on block. Even at its best placement, Medium Inferno is very easy to punish with a Medium Kick or Medium Punch, whichever is sure to reach. If that same move happens to link it to a combo, even better. You don't really need to worry about Light or Heavy Inferno since they are just as bad and hardly ever used. EX Inferno, on the other hand, is minus one when you block it, but the pushback typically makes it such that Light Attacks can't respond. If you attempt to attack with the Medium, it can be easily beaten by a throw that would, in essence, grab your attack before it connected. Next up, Scissors. Most of the time you're going to see Light Scissors, because it's the only one that can be comboed into from a Stand Light Kick, Crouch Medium Punch, or Crouch Medium Kick. Light Scissors is minus 4 when blocked. There's two situations that come up from this move ending in a block string, however. The first case, Light Scissors is perfectly spaced, and lands Bison as far as possible from you. You'll notice this from the very late last hit. Bison at this point feels safe, and rightly so. The only attacks capable of reaching him are going to be medium or heavy strength. Here's the crux of the problem though. If you attack with a medium, if you're even a few frames late on your punish, you run the risk of getting crush countered by stand hard kick. If you try a medium or heavy, he can also block. If you block, Bison can resume his pressure. But, if Bison resumes his pressure, only stand medium kick or stand medium punch are going to reach in a reasonably fast time. After that, his pressure is done, period. Everything resets back to neutral. Let's talk about the second case where Bison lands closer than he would like. In this case, Bison is still minus four, but now he's in range to be hit by our own light attack. We still need a little range, but we should have a long range light attack. Bison's best case is that we're slightly late on our light attack punish and he gets to block. Every other case is bad for Bison since Bison gets hit by our attack and we might even have a full combo we can use. And if Bison uses medium or heavy scissors, one of the two previous cases apply. The only scissor you cannot punish is EX Scissors because that one is plus one on block. How about normals? What can we punish or interrupt? The list is short, but there's a few things we can take advantage of. The first is Bison's target combo, Shadow Axe. If we block the first hit, we have the opportunity to interrupt the target combo with a light attack or throw. You need to be careful though and make sure that the second part is coming down before you try anything else, or else you get hit by another stand medium punch or crouch medium punch. If you miss your chance in the middle of the target combo, you can still punish the recovery since the move is minus five on block. Because the axe moves bison forward, you shouldn't have any trouble punishing this move with your light attack combo. The next move is crouch hard kick, his sweep. This move is so negative and moves Bison so close to his opponent that you should have your hardest hitting punish ready to go. Bison's Crouch Fierce and Stand Fierce are also massively negative on block, but you almost never get a chance to punish these. Crouch Fierce is rarely used for anything other than anti-air, and Stand Fierce is special cancelable and has excellent range. If you do get the chance to punish Stand Fierce, 
you'll need a light attack combo as it is minus six when blocked.